Hello, Mayday family. My name is Mayday, for those of you that are new to my channel, and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So today I am going to be doing a review of uh, James Charles returning to YouTube. Uh, I mean, this guy has 25 million followers. I Let me just start with saying how impressive that is. Uh, I remember watching his video about a year ago and, you know, the whole scandal was so bad that that's how I actually heard about him. I hadn't heard about him before then, but that whole scandal was just so bad that it was everywhere. So I kind of fell for him and um, kind of fell for him, but then not so much. So let's see what he has to say now that he's back. Let's take a look. Out loud. Oh my gosh, it has been a really, really long time since I've been down here in the YouTube studio, but it feels really good to be sitting here today. I have missed you guys more than you could ever imagine. I hope you're enjoying your summer. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a very happy, beautiful Pride Month. It kind of feels like the world is finally getting back to normal with all the vaccines and stuff. I got both my shots over the past couple of weeks, which has been amazing. And I really feel like <laughs> So, um, as a counselor, it's always interesting for me to see uh, when YouTubers make it a point to, they almost like going the extra mile to try and look good, right? So I like how he uh, made it a point to mention that he's had both vaccines, but I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, is, wasn't he, didn't he get into some type of issues because he was partying during the COVID and, and not not necessarily being respectful of the fact that we were in the middle of, of a pandemic or I don't know but it was just funny how he like slid that in there uh but let's keep let's keep rolling here uh I'm you know let's just keep rolling there's a lot of beautiful things happening in the world right now and I'm really looking forward to catching up with you guys today as you know over the past couple of months I have been online after I posted my last video, which was holding myself accountable, I felt as though it was really, really important for me to actually hold myself accountable and take a major, major step away and do a lot of work behind the scenes um, until I was ready to come back. And the last three and a half months now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, have been really weird. Um, so you guys, why does he keep, so I'm watching his body movements and watching his eye movements, and I'm wondering why his eye keeps gravitating towards the bottom for me, it would be the bottom left-hand side uh, because I'm watching it in this way. I'm wondering what he's looking at. Is he reading something? Uh, I'm just like, I'm confused as to like why his eyes keep moving towards that direction. Um, but let's go ahead and keep, keep watching. Cute earrings. I like the earrings. <laughs> I've been doing social media for almost six years now, which is wild to think about, but I've really never taken a long break to just be away and work on myself. So this time was definitely different for me, um, but I also feel though this has been some of the most important months in my entire life in terms of personal growth and self-reflection. And I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys a lot about that in today's video. Um, I really want this today to just be a super, super honest, raw, unfiltered, sit down, Super, super. So he said the super twice. Um, he really wanted us to, to feel the impact of that, right? So he keeps looking down. That's something that is distracting me a little bit because I'm wondering what he's reading uh, or what he's looking at. <laughs> I'm wondering what that's about. Let's, um, let's keep going here and see, since he says that he's learned so much, uh, let's kind of see what he's learned and see what um what he's talking about there one being i miss doing makeup so so much and i really want to do a pretty look in today's video but also too when i posted my last video one of the biggest pieces of feedback that i got was that it felt really really ingenuine and scripted and that really really sucked because that video was not scripted but i am really bad at just sitting down in front of the camera and talking so by the time that i you know got the sentence out that I was imagining in my head after eight different tries, it almost did become a script. And I think that we can all agree that that last video was definitely not uh, a great one. It was a miss. Um. 
So the first thing that comes to mind here is that <laughs> you got to love it when these YouTubers do this, right? It's so hard for them just to apologize, take ownership and move on. So he's trying to lump in an apology with yet another excuse for why it didn't work out. And to me, it's like, well, if you took a two, three month break, which quite frankly is not that long. <laughs> so, you know, the dramatics is also funny, but if you took a two th to three month break and now you're coming back and you're saying that you're issuing yet another apology, then why uh, tackle on an excuse with that? I just kind of say, you know, that video was meant to be an apology. Uh, you know, and I apologize if it came out the wrong way. And that's it. Let that be it. Don't follow it with a, a but, you know, I think we can all agree that, you know, when making videos, blah, 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 like, don't nobody want to hear that. <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking that if you're going to apologize, um, and it's just like any relationship, the relationships that you have, the relationships that you have with your YouTube following uh, is just like any intimate relationship that you're going to have for the most part. There's differences, of course, but, you know, people can typically sense things like that. So I'm just kind of wondering as to, uh, you know, why is that so hard? I don't, I don't understand, but let's go ahead and keep, keep going here. See what else he's, kiddo, kiddo has got to say here. I'm just getting started on my makeup routine because it's definitely not going to be a tutorial, but I said I do want to have a conversation throughout the video today. And I definitely think the first topic that I want to talk about is just going over, once again, everything that happened a couple of months ago and clarifying a lot of stuff that's happened after I posted my last video and what people have been saying, answering some questions, and talking about the growth and everything that I've worked on for the past couple of months behind the scenes. Um, as you guys know, I posted my whole makeup and temple video, and in that video, talked about how. Basically, two brides had come forward with stories on social media about how I had inappropriate contact with them uh, when they were under the age of 18. Now, when this was all going on, my first reaction was to be super upset because I did mention in that video that they had lied to me about their age, but I absolutely did it not for them. Okay, so you guys, this whole video is starting to just feel like it's it's not an apology video. It's not anything like that. It's just a video that he's making to defend himself. <laughs> uh, he's essentially just trying to defend himself uh, to the public, I suppose. And you can't really blame him too much for that, right? I mean, 25 million followers. Lord Jesus, that's a lot of people, right? And so, you know, I guess I, I, I can understand uh, why he feels like he needs to come out here and um, <laughs> defend his honor. Uh, and also, I, you know, I do believe him when he, when he says that uh, there were all these allegations. And I do think that uh, he, I do think that he was being, he was probably talking to a lot of people that he shouldn't have been talking to. Uh, and getting himself into situations that he shouldn't have been getting himself into, uh, but just kind of felt like he could do whatever and was doing that, ex exactly that. And so here we are. However, this is still not feeling like he's taking responsibility. It just feels like, I mean, it's, it's one excuse after another. This is the reason why this person was lying, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, well... I mean, what's the open conversation exactly like of, of, of just a video you're putting out to, to defend yourself and kind of dragging this whole thing on? Uh, so that's, that's, that's my impression of it. Um, I think it might have worked a little bit better if he would have just stuck to an actual apology. Um, but I also do understand just by human nature as human beings, we have a natural tendency to want to defend ourselves. And also he's in his 20s. He's a very, very young, young um, guy, young person. And during that age, typically what tends to happen is a lot of experience. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. A lot of experimenting, a lot of dating, 
Uh, during that age, dur during the 20s, a lot of times what happens is we're seeking connection with someone else at a very intense level. And so you find a lot of people in their 20s going on a lot of dates, putting up with a lot of things that they have no business putting up with within relationships and things like that. So it doesn't strike me as a surprise that that's where he's currently at and where he is um, and where he was. Uh, I just, you know, with ha having the type of platform that he has, he definitely needs to be a little bit more careful about that. But let's go ahead and keep watching you guys. Let's see. Um, let's see what else he has to say here. Then I was accused of something that I uh, did not do and I was able to prove it all wrong, but I did recognize that I needed to make changes. And I uploaded a video making a lot of promises to my audience and to the public that I was going to work on myself behind the scenes. And I did. I spent two years, you know, changing my behavior, changing the way that I went about dating and flirting with guys. I worked on rebuilding my brand and my social media presence. And now, two years later, that this is happening again, even though the situations are not connected, even though it's a different thing. It really looks as though I have made no progress. I haven't listened. I haven't learned. And that sucks so much. Okay, so he mentioned that in 2019, he got pinned for a similar behavior and that, that he got pinned for more recently. So I'm wondering, it seems like there's a pattern here. And it seems like, you know, uh, if you're getting pinned for similar things over and over again, I'm wondering how much of a lesson you truly are learning, if any, right? And what I would recommend, of course, is counseling and therapy because typically behind these types of behaviors where, you know, you're having, um, you're, you're having uh, behavioral issues, right? or, um, you know, talking to several different partners or potential partners or individuals and, um, you know, just being inappropriate with them or minors, seems like there's more going on there, uh, especially on the mental health side that maybe needs to be addressed. And the first thing that I would think is perhaps there's some type of trauma underlying those behaviors and really propelling those behaviors. Now, I've noticed that so far he hasn't mentioned anything about going to therapy or anything like that. And I will, I do have to say that he keeps looking down. It's very strange. I think maybe he's reading something. I don't know what's up with that, what he's reading or what he's looking at. And I do not think that he has learned anything. <laughs> I just don't. His personality type really comes off as someone that feels like he can do anything that he wants. And so he does that. And he just can't, can't really help it. Like he almost can't help himself, right? Like he comes off as someone that is really into himself. Uh, if you listen to some of the words that he's using during the, the video, uh, you, you start to notice and pick up very quickly that after every two, three words, he's not doing anything but defending himself. So that is not someone that's apologetic. That's not someone that's sorry. That's not indicated, indicative of someone that has taken the time to repent, think about things and self-reflect, right? This is someone that took the time because, this, because of the heat and then now is coming back and is exactly the same person that he was before but let's go ahead and keep watching and see uh see what else he's got to say here somebody who is bad at my side supporting me and even defending me over the past two years from everything that went down beforehand i now feel as though i have made to look stupid and that is quite literally the most crushing embarrassing feeling in the entire world and i said it in my last video but i will say it again in terms of james charles alone 20 victims of james charles because that is completely unequivocally not true now, when I say that literally anything and everything that's being added to this list, I really do mean anything and everything. There are a few different influencers from TikTok that send into my DMs, or I send into their DMs, and how to find me in a conversation with them, and he'll ask them their age or sexuality, and then completely stop responding. There were guys that I matched with on Tinder last year, and they had their ages set to 18 or 19, so I talked to them and flirted with them for a while. That's the whole point of an 
an adult dating app until I realized that they were lying. So I blocked them. So first thing I'm going to say is, you know, that's really, that's really, he's, this is, it's, his behavior is dangerous to him, <laughs> right? I'm trying to find the words to, to, to explain how, I mean, he's going to catch something. TikTok, Tinder, who knows what other apps he's been on and what other people he's slept with. And so if we take away his words, so we take away his words and we just examine his behaviors, right? And this is something that I want, um, I want all of you to get really, really good at because that's the, really the only way to, to be able to get um, as close as possible to the truth and to factual information. If we take away his words and the words that he's saying and we just analyze his behaviors, we can see that this is an individual that is very um, promiscuous, promiscuous. He's very like, you know, he has a very active <laughs> sexual life. He sleeps around a lot. And so it's hard for me to believe that all the accusations are false. He's obviously guilty to some extent of sleeping with some individuals that were most likely minors. So it would be hard for me not to believe that because um, I do believe, like he said, he wasn't doing his due diligence, you know? So he has that personality type of YOLO, you know, I'm 20 something years old. I got 25 million followers and he lives as such, right? So I, not that there's anything, I mean, everyone chooses how they want to live, but he just needs to be careful because doing all that, he's going to end up catching something. And typically when an individual is living in that way, it's because they're trying to fill a gap that, uh, is, that is open for them or they haven't processed through trauma or something of that nature. And so again, I would recommend counseling for that. But if we were to just take away the words and analyze the behaviors, that tells us more than, you know, even the words that are coming out of his mouth, <laughs> to be honest with you, because the words that are coming out of his mouth are nothing but excuses. And like, I'm not really sure the what the purpose of this video is, but let's go ahead and keep watching and see what else he has to, he has to say here. And nothing further happened. Uh, one of my own friends is on that list simply because we filmed this TikTok together when he was 18 and the drama channel that was posting this just decided that I groomed him. Um, you know, there's, we are such a headline driven society that people don't see that information being corrected or, you know, being taken down. All they see is that initial headline, which literally said the 20 victims of James Charles and that's the information that sticks with them. When more and more things are being added to this list, the one response that I saw over and over and over again was that there's a pattern here. You know, James keeps saying that he's the victim, he keeps saying that these people are lying to him or taking advantage of him. All these people can't be working together and where there's smoke, there's fire, so obviously something is going on. And I 1 million percent understand exactly why people are saying that because if I was on the outside, I'd be saying the same exact thing. It looks so suspicious. I kept thinking like, why does this keep happening to me? What am I doing wrong? Why can't I just... So... <laughs> I'm wondering why he's wondering, what am I doing wrong? So that's another thing. So here we have another contradiction. So one, a pattern that I'm starting to notice in this video is it is riddled with contradictions. This guy is a walking contradiction, right? So yet another contradiction of him saying, oh, what am I doing wrong? I just don't understand. Like, I just don't get it, right? When just two seconds ago, earlier in the video, he said, I've been thinking about it. I've accepted the part that I was doing wrong. I've just come to a, to a place where um, I know that I was wrong. It is a, he's like, a, he's a walking contradiction. And that tells me that he's not being honest, right? So like I said earlier in this video, I could already kind of tell just based on his behavior, behavioral pattern and his body language that, I mean, he just came on this video to defend himself, but everything that he's saying isn't necessarily working out to his advantage anyways. 
because just by looking at his behaviors and even just by listening really closely to the things he's saying, I mean, he's listing all these guys that he's interacted with. And I know you guys, you, you guys and girls, you know that that's not the complete list. He's just given us whatever came out on social media. So the, the aspect that he hasn't slept with minors is almost impossible just because he's listed so long and it's only based on based off of what has come out on social media. And, you know, not only that, this whole video is just a walking contradiction. I mean, he comes here saying he wants to be open about things and he's uh, thought about things and he's sorry and knows what he's done wrong. And now he's saying, oh, I was just like confused as to what I've done wrong and things like that. So it's just, I just need him to be careful because he's going to mess around again and catch something and that will be ultimately very tragic. So let's go ahead and keep going and see what else he has to say here. To give me attention and have a conversation for five minutes because I was so delusional in thinking that if the conversation can't hurt, maybe it'll actually lead to me finding, you know, the one. When in reality, of course, statistically, that does make sense. If you talk to more people, it, I guess it could sure hit more the mind a potential partner, but at the same time, I wasn't realizing that I also... He's right about that. The more people that you talk to, the higher your chances go of finding a potential partner. However, there is a dissonance between, you know, the excuse he's trying to give and the behaviors he actually portrayed. It's clear that he wasn't just talking to all of these individuals. He was having sexual encounters and interactions with them. And you don't have to have sexual encounters and interactions with them if what you're looking for is true love. Actually, it's, the, it's quite the opposite. Usually human beings and individuals that are really serious and interested about finding something real, finding true love, will not just right off of that, have se sexual interaction with everyone that they meet. That's just not typical human behavior. Um, but he is right as far as like the more people that you meet and the more people that you talk to, statistically speaking, the higher your chances are of finding someone that you want to be with. Because unless you're just settling for someone, which is what a lot of people do, Unless you're just settling or you're a very, very lucky few, it takes an incredibly long time typically to find that right fit for you. And it takes a lot of dating, trying, failing. So he's right about that piece. However, it's still not quite adding up, but let's see what else he has to say. I'll increase my chances of finding somebody not great that doesn't want to talk to me for the right reasons and that might lie or take advantage of. And that is nobody's fault other than my own. That being said, though, there is a second. Okay, so his whole reasoning here is that, oh, not what I, so essentially what he's saying he's learned isn't that he needs to take, just take responsibility for being irresponsible and for, um, you know, taking advantage of his viewers and, and actually just for being him, which is an individual that really actually doesn't care, right? So, uh, that's not what he learned. What he learned is I'm so famous. I'm so great that I need to be more careful because these people out here are out to get me. So I just don't want anyone to be confused about the lesson that he's saying that he learned, right? Um, because it's true, he is really famous, but you know, it's kind of sad that that's the lesson that he learned <laughs> out of this whole thing. Uh, but that's what he's essentially saying. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. Let's see. The pattern that's happening here that I really do feel like a lot of people aren't seeing, and I feel as though it's important for me to point out. And that pattern thing is, is that if you make a video about me, your experience dating or talking to you, whatever it may be, whether it's completely real or completely fake, it will go viral on social media. Now, I'm not saying- Okay, you guys. So there's a personality disorder here that, I, that I've been kind of, holding off on saying anything on because I wanted to see the rest of the video. I want to just keep observing, but he seems to be pretty um, high on the narcissistic scale. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of narcissistic 
tendencies and hearing a lot of narcissistic tendencies. And so that makes me think there is a high chance that he's a narcissist and he's very high on that scale, which is a mental health disorder. So, um, you know, whether he's aware of that or not, I don't know. I'm just going based off of what I'm observing and the behaviors and the language used. Here's the thing about narcissists, right? They're all this, they're all very similar, almost identical as far as the the way that they act, the way that they speak, the words that they choose, the way that they they maneuver. And I'm I'm pipping that in him. You know, I've seen a, a good number of narcissists being a licensed counselor, and I'm kind of seeing seeing a lot of that in him, a lot of those traits. Now, there's no way I can give like a definite because I would need him to come in and, and I would need to see him a, a, a few more times, but he, he's, he's exhibiting a lot of those traits right now. So let's go ahead and keep, keep going. And not to boost my own ego and my chest back like I'm so bored and so famous. It really is just the reality of the situation. Here's, so here's another thing that I'm noticing. The more, and, and I just want you guys to know this, the more a person says, oh, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that, the more likely it is that that is, that is it, right? So during this video, I've heard him deny more than three times at this point, I've heard him deny that it's not because he thinks he's so great, right? He said that like, three, four times, like he said that a few times and we're not even halfway through the video yet. And so he's not just denying this, he's denying the same thing over and over again. It's like, who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself, right? So um, when human beings do this, typically they're, it, whatever they're saying it's not, it is especially if you're denying it and you're denying the same thing over and over again. So like, it's like no one even said anything to you. You're recording it. So no one's saying like, no one's saying, oh, you know, so that means you're pressed. You know what I'm saying? That's in your mind. And you know that that's what it is. And you keep denying it. It's like, it's like, you know, being in court and denying that you did the murder when we have all the, all the stuff here and you keep saying, no, I didn't do it. So that's what I will say. He keeps saying that. That's just yet another indication of the, this narcissistic tendency that I'm seeing because that's how they talk um, and that's how they manipulate. But let's go ahead and uh, keep going and see what else he has to say here. Just with me, but with everybody. And at this point, dare I even say like a meme to post your experience talking to James Charles. Now, once again, I recognize this is my own fault. I wish more than anything I could go back in time and stop myself from making all those jokes about straight guys years ago and talk about dating and how I was single and how I wanted a boyfriend so badly. Like, I wish more than anything that I kept that private. And fortunately, at this point, there's nothing that I can do about that other than just be better moving forward. But at the same time... Okay, so what he's doing here is a common manipulation tactic that narcissists do. What he's, what he's trying to pull from, from his audience is... Uh, empathy and sympathy. He wants them to feel sorry for him, right? So notice certain things that he's saying, such as, um, I wish more than anything I hadn't gone back. Ev like everyone de deserves privacy and, and the right to, to privacy. Um, and, you know, they just, they go back and they just use my name and, and post about me and so what he's trying to do is he's trying to get you to empathize with him so even though in the same breath he's saying oh I'm so sorry um I shouldn't have done this I wish I wouldn't have done it it's my fault he's not really taking ownership what he's mainly trying to do is he's trying to manipulate you into feeling sorry for him and for his situation of not having his privacy, he's almost blaming his audience, right? He's almost blaming the people that post about him and stuff like that. 
same people that that make him relevant, to be honest with you, because if no one's posting about you, then you're irrelevant. You know what I'm saying? So he's not taking responsibility at all. It's just a common manipulation tactic that narcissists use. Um, and that much is obvious. So as we go along, we'll probably notice a lot more of that. That is my prediction for this video. But well, let's go ahead and take a look here. If I'm still a human being that deserves privacy and respect like everybody else, you know, it's one thing to have a super innocent and casual five minute conversation with somebody on Instagram DMs or a dating app, and then to scroll on your video page an hour later and see every single message that was sent. It already feels really, really violent and dehumanizing, but at the same time, once so it already feels really violating and dehumanizing. So he inserts these little, feel sorry for me, feel sorry for me, and you know, in the middle of the video, but then confuses us by saying, oh yeah, but I, I've learned my lesson, I'm so sorry, it was my fault. It, it's, it's so contradictory, I don't even know, this is what narcissists do, they leave you very confused. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what to say to that, that he, we, he needs to process through a lot of things in counseling, but he's so young that, I mean, he might be limited on uh, how far he, he would be able to go anyway. So let's just keep, let's keep watching here and see what else he has to say. And I, I totally understand why that was not supposed to be an excuse for anything that happened at all. I was simply trying to explain to you guys that I finally understood why I kept getting into this position over and over and over again and how it was my own fault and nobody else's. I really was convinced that I was able to live this like Hannah Montana double life. Okay, so he said, he's saying it again. Oh, I'm just trying to explain to you guys how I understand that it was my fault and nobody else's. That's a contradiction. This whole video, he's been blaming everybody else and saying that he's the good guy in all this and the only thing he has done wrong is to not protect himself enough you know and he downplays this whole video the part the role that he played which is inappropriately talking to underage um individuals you know that is a, a very severe um a thing to do right so he downplays the whole situation while saying he doesn't want to downplay the whole situation but he's downplaying the role that he played in the situation while trying to convince us with just words that he is taking responsibility for it yet the entire video has been spent blaming other people for the situation that he's in so uh, you know when I say walking contradiction, this kid is a walking contradiction, right? I, 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 I don't, I don't, I can't. Fantasy, where I could be James Charles, the internet persona, beauty guru during the day, but then later on, I could bite my makeup off, really thought in a lovely idea, but the reality is they're the same person. And until I gave somebody the opportunity at the time to get to know me and my heart and my soul, they were always going to see me as James Charles because that's what I put out there on my pup. So I want you guys to notice the little slip ups, right? They, they can be easy to miss. So he just said, but until I give someone the opportunity to get to know me, my heart, my soul, they're always just going to know me as James Charles, right? So he slipped up, right? Because earlier in this video, you were just saying that what you were doing was you were looking for true love. It's because you were dating and you wanted to be in a relationship so bad. I would think if that's what you were doing, then you were giving those opportunities, right? So your story is not lining up. So you just slipped up and told on yourself. You weren't, you weren't looking for anything real or true. You were just sleeping around, let's be real. And it's it caught up to you and it's going to continue to catch up to you because it's, it's irresponsible to do with such a large platform. And so he slipped up, you know, even in edited videos. Here's the thing about human beings, you guys. Even in edited videos, they can and usually will slip up. You know why? 
because most likely he's either the one editing the videos or approving the videos and, and choosing like which pieces should be in there if he feels like something was left out. So they're going through a filter and that same filter is him. So he's not going to be able to pick it apart, right, from an objective standpoint. And so therefore, he's going to slip. There's just no other way. We've been peeling it apart this whole video. So he just said, until I gave someone the opportunity to um, get to know me, this and that and that, then they're always going to know me as James Charles. Okay, great. But, you know, a couple of minutes back, you just said that what you were looking for was true love and you were talking to them because you were essentially telling us you were talking to them because you were giving them that opportunity and that's how they took advantage of you. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Like he hasn't learned anything. He's just so naive. <laughs> so I want you to start picking up on these things, right? Um, let's go ahead and see what else he has to say. But I think I'm pretty much good on this video. Uh, we made it through most of it. So let's see. Talk to millions and millions of people, and I just wasn't understanding this, but now I finally, finally do. But in the straight guys, so I stopped allowing myself to be a science experiment. Okay, so he got called out for, for flirting with straight guys. So he stopped allowing himself to be a science experiment. So if you're the one flirting with straight guys, how in the world did you become the victim in that interaction? I just, I'm, I'm trying to understand this narcissistic tendency that is just like breathing all over him. It is, it's bad. Like it, he would fall really high on the scale. Look. You are flirting with straight guys. You got called out for doing so. You're not a victim, right? How, how are you a science experiment again? Like, was there a specific situation where you weren't the one that initiated? Like, I'm trying to understand all of these contradictions that keep happening in this video. And he will never be able to notice them because that's, a part of the personality disorder that he probably has, right? Is he just, he won't be able to see them no matter how much he tries. So ultimately this just tells us that he's just, he's not being honest. He's been waiting a long time in his words, but what is a long time to him, I'm sure, he's been waiting two or three months to post this video. And the reason he's been so eager and talking so much and just all over the place probably is because he's been waiting so eagerly to defend himself but he knew that it wasn't the best move career-wise to do it right then and there because the stove was so hot you know so he had to wait for the stove to cool off a little bit and come back and now he's defending himself so from then to now nothing has changed with this guy <laughs> that's ultimately what it comes down to let's see if there's anything else exactly know how to go about that yet, but I'm going to figure it out as I go. You know, one of the really interesting things to me was when this is all happening, a lot of people were saying, like, he shouldn't be damning people. He needs to be on this app, or he shouldn't be on this app. He needs to do this. He needs to do this. I've been on Tinder and Hinge, but I've had people either lie or take screenshots, and my account is currently banned on both of those apps for catfishing as myself. Uh, I okay, why did we need to know that? Like, that his account was banned for catfishing as himself. He just threw that in there because he can't help himself. It's a personality disorder. He's so into himself that he just can't even help himself. That is was such a random, unnecessary fact. It's like, what do we do with that information? What does that have to do with anything at all? Okay, we get it. You're so great, right? Like you are just the desire. So I don't know. I don't know. This guy thinks he's Jesus. So that's so funny. And you can tell by his facial expression that he's really feeling himself. That's like the first honest thing that's come out of his mouth that he's happy about, you know. Um, you know, his eyes are kind of raised a little bit, uh, lips, nose. So whenever he's talking about himself, he's really feeling it. That's for sure. <laughs> had a Raya account, which is like the celebrity dating app, um, but even conversations from there about weeks, couple of weeks ago. A celebrity dating app. Mm. 
There have been so many people too saying he just needs to give up and date a celebrity. You guys, trust me when I say I would literally love nothing more. Oh my god, if that option were on the table, then I don't have to pay for everything. That I trust me when I say I would literally love nothing more. Oh my god, if that option were on the table, trust me, it would have been taken a long time ago. The idea of dating somebody that's in LA that has a busy but flexible schedule that understands my life, that has money, so that I don't have to pay for everything. Okay, again, that has money, so I don't have to pay for everything. So he. <laughs> You got, you, he cannot help himself. This guy is a full blown narcissist, full blown narcissist. It, it's out of control, to be honest. Um, what do we do with that? Like, that has money, so I don't have to pay for everything. What does that have to do with anything? Like, we're, you know, people were telling you to date someone that is as popular as you, so you don't, because you uh, keep complaining, saying that people are taking advantage of you right? Oh, if that were an option, I would, but there's no one quite as good as me. That's essentially what he's saying here, right? Um, and then he proceeds to say that has money so that I don't have to pay for everything. So these little nuggets tell you where his mindset is really at. So you have to really pay attention. You can't just say, oh, you know, uh, let me just like kind of see, you know, you have to really pay attention because He's a walking contradiction, and at this point, I think I'm comfortable enough to say that, yes, he is most likely a narcissist, and he's probably, it seems to me, from my opinion, it seems to me um, he's fairly high on the narcissistic scale as well, so just, just be on the lookout for that. So let's see what else, if there's anything else. This video is super long, so... <laughs> Okay, so we pretty much made it all the way to the to basically the end of the <laughs> rant is what I'm gonna call it. So that those are my conclusions. As a licensed counselor who and a person who spent a lot of time in school and currently doing a doctorate, this was fairly easy to see through. I have to say, I mean, it just wasn't hard. And I'm not surprised it wasn't hard because with narcissists, like I said, they all exhibit the same symptoms. They're all basically the same. And it's very, very easy for someone who's trained to pick them out of the, <laughs> pick them out of the crowd, right? So that's just something to be aware of. Um, he said some true things as far as, you know, being in the public eye uh, and, you know, uh, I guess him finding it hard to be in the public eye, I'm, you know, that's all I was able to take from what he was saying. And if that's what he was saying, it, it is hard to be in the public eye. However, not necessarily an excuse to be as irresponsible as he continues to be. And then he comes on and tries to play us, right? <laughs> now, what I will say is I've watched one of his videos where he does makeup and the kid is very, very talented with the makeup like I was like what am I even seeing here and if you if you watch my videos you know that I I mean I just don't have you know I, I don't use make a lot of makeup in my videos if, if I get to do it then I was lucky that day that means I was able to have enough time to do that so I, I'm, I'm impressed with his makeup skill but that's about it I think even me saying that is too much what if he ends up seeing this and you know, he's already enough of a narcissist, right? Like, you know, so he does, you know, he does exhibit the, the personality disorder traits. That's what I will say. And I kind of think this video was kind of a waste of time. He didn't really say anything new. He might as well have just transitioned and acted like nothing happened, you guys. Might as well. Anyways, that's about it for me. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for the YouTube uh, algorithm. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.